I will show you a very nice roulette strategy that is simple but effective using all of the even chance bets. What is going on everybody? Welcome back. I'll show you one of my favorite ways to play the even chance bets. Let's look at the table layout for roulette. So these are the even chance bets. 1 through 18, even, red, black, odd, and 19 through 36. All of these bets pay 1 to 1. Here is how the strategy works. I am simply going to bet against the next 6 spins showing up in the exact same order of the table layout. I'll show you what I mean. So in order for me to lose 6 spins in a row, the first spin would have to be a low number, followed up by an even number, followed up by a red number, followed up by a black number, and then an odd number, and then finally a high number. If the next 6 spins show up in this exact same order, I will lose. But this rarely happens. The results will be jumbled up most of the time. For example, we might see a low number followed up by an odd number, not an even number, right? Or we might get a low number followed up by an even number, but then followed up by a black number. It rarely shows up in the exact order of the table layout. Now it can happen, yes, of course, it's not impossible, but most of the time, the results will be scattered, and this is exactly what I'm going to take advantage of. Check it out, I have made a new spreadsheet with all of the even chance bets. So how would I bet against the table layout going from left to right? Easy, I will place my bets going from right to left. Make sense? Because if I'm betting against a low number, obviously my bet will be on a high number. And if I'm betting against an even number, my bet will be on an odd number so on and so forth. I'll use the spreadsheet just to keep track. So let's say my first bet is on a high number, but a low number comes out. I will type in yes, because a low number did come out and we lost our first bet. It's just to keep track. My second bet will be against an even number because my bets are going from right to left, remember. So I will place a bet on odd. But let's say we lose again and an even number comes out. I'm going to type in another yes because an even number did come out. What is my next bet? You got it. My next bet will be on black. Why? Because I'm betting against red. We're betting against the table layout going from left to right. Since our bets are going from right to left. So my bet is on black and let's say we win that bet. Great. A red did not show up, so I'll type in no, which means we have won that bet. So essentially, I am looking for a no to pick up a win. If all of these display yes, that means that the six spins that we have played has gone in the exact same order as the table layout. Rare, but it can happen. So what happens after a win? Do I restart the sequence and place a bet on a high number again? No. I'll show you what I do. I'm going to clear that. After a hit, I will switch over to the opposite sequence. So this time, I will start my bets from a low number, going from left to right, because I am now betting against the next six spins going from right to left, exactly in that order on the table layout. Does that make sense? I like to do this after a win, switch back and forth with my starting bets just to keep the probabilities low. As for money management, we will be using the Oscars grind. If you don't know how to play Oscars grind, you can do a quick YouTube search and watch some videos. It's pretty straightforward. We're going to bet one unit at a time until a win. After a win, if we're not in profit, we will increase by one unit. We'll keep betting with our new unit size until another win. After a win, if you're still not in profit, you will continue to increase by one unit. The goal is to just make one unit at a time. Okay, we have our strategy, we have our money management. Let's hit the tables and get started. 
All right, so we have $1,443 in the balance. You guys know the drill. Slap the like button, hit subscribe, and turn on the bell. All right, let's go. Okay, here we are. I am using a $25 unit size, and after this spin, we will get started, okay? It doesn't matter what that number is. I am betting against a low number going from left to right. So our first bet will be on a high number. Here we go. Oscar's grind, even chance bets. After a win, I will switch the sequence over to the other side. Okay, guys? So I'm betting against the table layout going from left to right. So let's see if we can pick up a win here. 22. It's a high number. Very nice. So we pick up a win right there. And after a win, I'm just going to switch it over to the other side. So now what I'm doing is betting against the table layout going from right to left. Okay, so I will start recording from down here if I were to lose. I'm only recording after losses just to keep track of where we are, okay? So that's one unit. Let me put that in. Twenty one, so I lose that bet. Okay, so this was a yes, which means we lost. I am now betting against odd. So I'm going to place a bet on even. And for visual purposes, for the Oscars grind, I'm going to go ahead and clear this. I'll tell you why because I want to lock in profits that I have already made. So I will only do this on losses and since I lost my last bet I will go ahead and put minus one and you'll see how the Oscars grind works I'll start recording Oscars grind if I lose and we've just picked up a win because 36 is an even number so take a look we are at break even for the Oscars grind so no need to go up to two units we can stick to one unit and since I won I'm gonna go back to a different sequence, right? I am now betting against the table layout going from left to right. I hope you guys are following me. <laughs> I'm going to keep repeating myself until you understand. Hopefully you do. It's pretty straightforward. And I'm going to clear the Oscars grind here since we're at break even. No need to record anything here. So number eight, that is a loss. So type in yes. I am now betting against even, which means our next bet will be on odd as we get a minus one. So far, we are one unit in profit because I have already locked up that one unit. I'm not recording the wins on Oscar's grind, okay? That way I can lock up profits already made, like I said. So betting against even, our bet is on odd, looking for an odd number here. 35 is an odd number, very nice. Again, Oscar's grind, we're break even, so no need to increase our unit size. This was a no, right? That is why we picked up a win. Switching over to the other side now, so let's clear this. We are now starting from the bottom of our spreadsheet. And for this strategy, you can cover the zero at times, but most of the time I won't. You're just throwing money away. But if you feel secure and want to place a dollar on zero, you can do that as well. Twenty-two, so we lose that bet. Okay, I'm now betting against odd, which means my bet will be on even. Minus one. For the Oscars grind, if you were to lose one, win one, lose one, win one, it's a little frustrating because you keep breaking even, but you have to stay disciplined, right? Stick to the game plan. 
All right, so we're hoping an odd doesn't come up because we're betting against the table layout going from right to left because we keep going back and forth with our sequences after a win just to keep the probabilities low. So 29 is not an even number, so we lose that as well. We are now betting against black. So my bet will be on red. Oh, I cannot move that. All right, so another minus one here. The spins can go in order from right to left. It can happen. So you see the first three have already done so. <laughs> so we lose that as well. Okay. I am now betting against red, so my bet will be on black. So take a look. So far, it has gone in order from right to left. We got a high number, and then we got an odd number, and then we got a black number. It is now trying to hit a red number, which is why we're betting against that. Our bet is on black, so hopefully we can hit here. Black, perfect. All right, so we got them on the fourth attempt. Do you see how hard it is to go in the exact order of the table layout? <laughs> All right, so now I'm gonna switch my bet over to the other side. All right, two units because, take a look, even though I won that bet, we are down. And when you're down, you increase by one unit until you either break even or you're up plus one, which is exactly what we're doing right now. I'm gonna go ahead and clear this. We are now betting against a table layout going from left to right. That is why my bet is on high. So now you can see the Oscars grind at work here. Number 20, perfect, very nice. Look, plus two, we are at break even. So I can go back down to one unit since we won right away. And obviously we're switching sequences over to the other side now, okay? Do you see how the Oscars grind works? At zero, so I'm gonna clear this. And that one unit I have made, it's already locked up in profits. So that is why I do the Oscars grind this way. I will only record once I start out with a loss. Twenty one, so we lose that bet. Okay, betting against odd now. So I will place a bet on even. Minus one. We're looking for maybe a hundred dollars in profit, somewhere around there. So let's see what happens. Eighteen is an even number. Perfect. Do you see how hard it is, guys? <laughs> so neutral again with the Oscars grind. It is so hard to go in order, especially when I'm going back and forth. I'm now starting from this side. Right? So I can clear this. We're now betting against the table layout going from left to right. Neutral again with the Oscars grind. It's making it difficult for us to pick up that second unit. <laughs> We've been stuck on one unit of profit for a while now, but we're not in a rush, right? We have discipline, excellent money management. We're going to stick to our game plan and hit a high number just like that for a two unit profit. Very nice. So since I won, I'm not going to record Oscar's grind. We're just going to keep track that we are up plus two and I'm going to switch over new sequence starting from the other side. So betting against right to left. Very nice strategy. I love using this. Whenever I play even chance bets, this is my go-to. I make a quick three to five units and I'm done. Number one, we win again. That's plus three, very nice. 
beautiful when you win on the first attempt. You don't have to record anything. <laughs> you just switch it over, start a new sequence from the other side. So plus three right now. If we win one more unit, I think we're going to call that a session. Quick hundred dollars. So let's see what happens here. You all know the last unit is the hardest to get. <laughs> but hopefully not. Let's keep it going here. High number is what we're looking for. And come on, come on. High number. 36. Beautiful. Oh, man. What a nice session. <laughs> All right. Let's check out the balance. $1,543. Four units at $25 a piece. So that's $100. Good enough for the session. So I'm going to go ahead and exit the table. And there it is, my very slick way of playing the even chance bets on the roulette table. I already know that most of you will love this strategy. I could feel it through the screen right now. <laughs> so remember to keep alternating after a win when you're starting a new sequence. If you start out betting against the table layout going from left to right, after a win, the next sequence, you will start out betting against the table layout going from right to left. Don't stick around too long, hit your three to five units and call it a session, and have fun with the strategy. That is it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, go ahead and destroy the like button. Amazing, amazing job with the likes. If you're new or haven't done so already, consider subscribing. Make sure to turn on the bell, that way you get notified whenever I upload a brand new video. Also check out my website, mrraphael.com. Once again, thank you everybody for tuning in. I will catch you in the next one. Ciao.